So my job can be quite varied. I would say sometimes it can be about doing kind of desk research, so doing reading, understanding what the state of the art is. Quite often we develop prototype technologies in-house to, to try and explore things like um, new messaging devices or new communication devices and often we'll work in teams to come up with ideas for those and then some of the some of my colleagues or so some of the engineers and designers that I work with will, will kind of build something and then it's more my role to um, do field studies of that so it's often my job to go and take that to people and maybe deploy it, leave it with families or with individuals for maybe up to three months and just kind of go back, interview them, try and understand what they think of it and then see what we can learn for that, from that to inform the design of technology. I think the best thing is probably working with such a mix of people. Um, I really value being in an interdisciplinary team and working with you know, getting to work with social scientists but also getting to work with designers and, and computer scientists is really interesting, it really makes it more varied. So I did my degree in psychology um, and while I, was, while I was in my final year of my psychology degree I did a, a, a module in human factors which is, was basically about usability and we, we touched on some technology and new interfaces within that um, and then at the same time when I was at university I was trying I was beginning to learn how to develop websites and from that I ended up doing a master's in human computer interaction which is basically about designing interfaces and supporting people in interacting with technology um, and from there it was quite actually quite a natural thread although it feels sounds quite odd to have a psychologist working for a company like Microsoft. It was quite a natural progression to end up somewhere like this where obviously understanding how people use technology and using that to feed into design is really valuable. Well I would say the importance of working with really um, quite inspirational people, like I, I take a lot of inspiration I think from the people that I work with, so that's really important. And I think all through my career, like when I was doing my PhD, um, or when I was a research assistant, all the people who I've been working with have been really great, and that's been really valuable. I don't know, there's lots of little things, like when you get some work published, or, I mean, there are, there are big moments, I suppose, like when I got my PhD, that's like a proud moment, or like when I got a job here, that was a proud moment. When I was kind of choosing my A-levels, I wanted to be a psychologist, that's how I ended up doing a degree in psychology. Um, I've, and I think I had quite a general skill set, I wouldn't say I was like really gifted in any one area, I kind of did a spread of subjects, I did like English and I did biology and I did math, so I kind of, I did sociology, so I cut across the social sciences and, and science subjects. I just think there's plenty of space for women in engineering and science and I think they're being actively encouraged to get into those fields so they, should, they shouldn't feel there are any barriers there, they should go for it.